Welcome to another episode of Beginner's Barbecue Outdoors. Today we're going to try to do a barbecue chicken breast on the Traeger Grill. Let's fire up the Traeger. Alright, so what we have here is some nice pieces of chicken breast. So what we're going to do is we're going to season them with our favorite season is the trigger rub and then at towards the end about 10 minutes before they're done we're going to put some uh, barbecue sauce on these so we have these pieces of chicken breast we'll do these first and then i'll do the rest off the camera so what we're going to do is just give it a nice little coat of this Traeger rub you know this is one of our favorites and you guys can use whatever you guys want to use on rub it don't matter uh, we're gonna use this for the chicken and it gives it a nice color too if you look at the color it gives it a nice red color to it so we're gonna flip them we're gonna do the same and then that If you guys want to comment down below, let me know what kind of rubs you guys like to use on chicken. Like I said, this, this Traeger rub works on beef, chicken, and pork. So you can use this for all three. So we got this at Costco, which is not a bad price for 12 bucks. Because uh, if, you, if you notice, the Traeger rubs, the little tiny ones, are about 10 bucks. So this is two times bigger, maybe three times bigger for two more, two more dollars. All right, so now that we have these seasoned, I'm going to let them stay I'm, I'm i'm leaving like this for about 15 to 20 minutes uh to try to get that season in there you know get it in there and so then what we're going to do is uh i'm going to put the trigger i've done some chicken breasts on about 375 i'm gonna lower these to 300 to get more smoke flavor uh they'll probably take 45 minutes to an hour but we'll keep an eye on them all right now i just put the chicken in here so we're gonna leave it for a half hour, come back, flip them. That way if you flip them, you, you get the grill marks on both sides. Uh, you'll see. Uh, so we'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes have passed. That's how they're looking. We're just gonna go ahead and flip them. Look at that. Yeah, that looks good. back in another 30 minutes all right now that it's internal temp hit at 160 uh, our sweet spot is 170 so now it's a good time to add the barbecue sauce look how they're looking they look good the same to the rest and uh, we'll do this let's have a quick recap of what we did this is the barbecue sauce we use this is the famous Dave's barbecue sauce we use that a lot. Uh, this is the rub we use. We also love this. Use it a lot. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit more of these, this uh, barbecue sauce in here. Then, and just for anybody that knows, before I use this again, it got washed. Last time somebody said you're supposed to wash it. I did wash it. So, letting you guys know, I did wash this. And so. Here we go with the slicing. Look at that. You can see the juices coming out. 
So we took it out. It was about 165 internal temp. And so they look really good. So here we have it. A nice piece of chicken breast. Looks great. It's juicy. A little bit of barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Man. That is good. Man, that is good. And you guys don't have to use the barbecue sauce. You guys can just leave it there. All you're looking for is the internal temp to hit 165. That's it. Once it hits 165, you can take it out. You might be able to get away with 160. That's up to you guys. So you guys don't have to use barbecue sauce. Leave it there. So no matter what, how big your chicken is, how small it is, the only thing you need to go is your internal temp, 165. All right. So make sure you guys go into our social media. We have one on uh, Facebook, Beginner's Barbecue Outdoors, Instagram, Beginner's Barbecue. Uh, this came out great. Remember, if you guys want this, this is barbecue sauce we use. This is a trigger that we used. Uh, and we will see you guys next time.